My name is Paddy Ward, Chairman of Stenuden Group Water Scheme, and today we're going to demonstrate air scouring of some of the pipelines. The purpose of the air scouring is to uh, create a turbulence within the system that will dislodge any of the sediment that builds up in the pipeline over a period of time. Some may ask, how does sediment get into a closed water system? Well, physically, some elements, for instance manganese or iron, are suspended in a dissolved state in our water. A combination of water time in the pipe, the season that it is and the location of the pipe, can result in the dissolved elements oxidising and becoming what we call a bio-layer, or what most people would call sediment. You can let it go, Connor, we're set up, ready to go. happens when you open your main straight away you lose you get a great effect for the first 10-15 seconds and then it depressurizes and the water just slowly moves it as it's filling in it comes out so you don't get that good effect so putting the air into it totally makes it uh, kicks it yeah kicks it round in the pipe and makes it clean better this is a portable turbidity meter I've just taken a sample of this water here that's coming out of the scour valve at the minute and we have a reading of 318 hazen units, which shows it very dirty water. We won't stop scouring the lane now until we have that figure down to single figures. We will turn off the hydrant, maybe for a minute or so, just to allow the pressure in the lane to build up again. And when we open it again, you will see that where we have an increased flow, which may dislodge any sediment that's in the, in the pipeline itself. A very small amount of sediment can gather in the pipelines and it generally will gather where you have a dip in the pipeline depending on the type of the, the topography of the terrain. Another visual effect of cleaning our water supply lines is often called white water. The white water is a combination of adding compressed air and high pressure water which results in tiny bubbles being created and suspended inside the water making it look white. So twice every year we we flush that out and that leaves us with a better residual chlorine at the end of the lane and it also is very useful from the point of view of uh, controlling the manganese content in the water itself. Here's the units are now down to 3.9 so we're happy enough that the water is now clean. Strenuden, protecting your water.